Hello everyone and welcome to another Art of Vinyl repair video. Today I want to show you something that often happens with uh, later models Technics dust covers. Now these dust covers have been made with two protruding pieces of plastic which you can see here in the back, here and here. And the problem is that the, these pieces of plastic often bre break off, like you can see in this situation. So if we look at it a bit more closely, you can see this one is still intact. Uh, so it sticks nicely into this part here, but the other one has broken off and we already saw it just now. If you close the dust cover, there's a high risk of the hinge popping out like so. Of course, you don't want that to happen because it might damage your record player. But luckily we have found a way to solve this um, and that is by adding a 3D printed uh, support uh, instead of this broken off tab. And in this video, I will show you uh, how you can do that. The link to this particular product you can find down below in the description of this video. Now, in order to execute this repair, we'll need a couple of things. First of all, we'll start by taking off the old piece of hinge here. Um, so for that, we'll need a sort of abrasive material. So you can either use a saw, a, saw, a loose saw blade, combination with the file to first saw it off like so and then file it down so it's flush or you can use an electric multi tool which i usually prefer to do in combination with one of these grinding discs and one of these abrasive stones to uh, make it smooth um, and in the process of doing so i would highly recommend you use some masking tapes on the pieces that you're not going to grind down so that the dust cover will remain its nice smooth surface so first we will start off by masking off the materials which we don't want to remove. Um, so we'll just take our masking tape, pull out some pieces, and stick them on like so. That'll do the trick. And then we go over to the next step, which is removing the old part of the hinge. So we'll remove the, the hinge piece of the dust cover. And for this, I'll take my multi-tool uh, with a grinding disc. And of course, always use the necessary safety precautions uh, because if these discs fall apart, they come flying everywhere and you don't want anything in your eyes. So we'll just go ahead and trim it off. So now that we have taken off most of the material, we'll switch over to our abrasive tool to take off the last parts. So now it looks like it's nice, nicely flush. Um, as you could see in the video, I regularly felt it to see uh, how far I was to prevent uh, from going too far. So now I'll take the masking tape off. 
So what we'll need in this final step is to fit the hinge again and put it in position on the record player. And while you're doing this, please keep supporting the dust cover so the weight of the dust cover doesn't fall fully on the hinge when you close it, like this. So I keep my fingers under here, and then I use my other hand to gradually close it while I keep supporting this. What we're going to do now is uh, take a marker and mark the two holes here. So as you can see, I'm still supporting the hinge so that it's tightly... Uh, fixed to the uh, dust cover uh, because the lateral forces of the hinge wanting to pull the um, dust cover back uh, are able to damage your hinge so uh, please be very careful here so just mark the first hole keep applying pressure and then I mark the second hole and we'll go over the next to the next step which is drilling out these holes so for this first keep supporting this again until it's all the way upright, like so. And then we'll just lift off the dust cover, take off the hinge and drill the holes. So for drilling the holes, I'll be using a very, very sharp drill bit. Um, this drill bit is a bit undersized uh, for the screws. Um, that is because I will use an abrasive stone to uh, make the holes a bit larger later on. So as you saw, I was not applying too much pressure and uh, that is because these dust covers are made of a very hard material, so they tend to crack. So I try to let the friction do the work so um, the plastic becomes hotter and hotter and therefore it will just glide through very easily. Um, and then I go over to the next step, uh, which is making the holes a bit larger. Another reason why I do this is that if, in case you have the placement of the holes not perfectly correct in the first time, you can always compensate uh, in the second step. But of course, if you only have a big drill bit, um, then you can just uh, use that, but uh, I would recommend you to be very careful. You can also use the tip of a soldering iron to burn through the dust cover. Um, but yeah, I prefer doing it like this. So I'm using this bit for my multi-tool, as you can see. Nicely fits the screw. So just go ahead and widen the holes. Then for the final tightening, use a number eight uh, wrench and a number three uh, Allen key and just ever so slightly tighten it like so. Don't overdo it because uh, the dust cover is quite fragile. So just make sure it's tight and then it's done like so and then there's only one step left to do and that is fitting the dust cover to the record player so here we have the record player and just fit the dust cover like so test it a couple of times and as you can see it's very nice tight fit and it works perfectly again so thank you very much for watching if you have any comments, please leave them down below. The product you can find in the description down below the video. 
And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I wish you the best of luck on repairing your own record player. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.